There was data published in mice that if you inhibit a protein downstream of TORC1 called SREBB2, this leads to upregulation of innate antiviral genes that defend against multiple different respiratory viruses, and this protected mice from respiratory tract infections. So we wanted to see if TORC1 inhibition in humans would do the same thing. Yes, yeah, so in our phase 2B trial, we wanted to see does TORC1 inhibition upregulate innate antiviral immunity and protect older people from respiratory tract infections caused by all sorts of different viruses. And in the study, we enrolled five patient groups that are at high risk of respiratory tract infection, morbidity, and mortality. And those are people 85 and above because respiratory tract infections are the second leading cause of hospitalization in that group or 65 and above with asthma, where respiratory tract infections are the main cause of asthma exacerbations. 65 and above with COPD, same thing, respiratory tract infection cause their exacerbations. And then 65 and above with diabetes and current smokers, because they get sicker from respiratory tract infections. So we enrolled them all and did like a basket oncology trial and looked at them all together and also looked at efficacy in each of those individual groups. We dose them with a variety of TORC1 inhibitors for 16 weeks during winter cold and flu season, and the primary endpoint was the percent of subjects who got a lab-confirmed RTI.